Hello everyone, Radlad here, and welcome back to yet another video. Back with uh, some more Super Metroid Vitality, and yes, I know it's been a, a bit since the last episode, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to get back into this since, you know, it has been quite a while. I've been very busy as of late, but now I have finally finished my final exam of high school, meaning that I am completely done with that. So yeah, no more high school to worry about, So, which means I have more time on my hands now. And I've just been kind of unfocused the last few days as well, and just general, so... I'm hoping to have more stuff coming out, and, you know, better be better focused on the stuff I have to do, so... Yeah. Alright, we do have charge room. Okay, so... It's been a while since I've played this game. Um... So, bear with me if I forget some things that I had. Oh my god, these guys are tough to deal with, like when you have missiles. Like, hunters aren't bad when they're on the ground, like, they're easy to kill when they're on the ground, but it's just, like, when they're, you know, in air, they're annoying to deal with. Oh, this place is suspicious. Oh, what the fuck? What was that? Like, seriously, what the hell was that? Why is it just a random boulder coming out? Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's like the slow realization. I'm like, oh, I'm screwed, aren't I? Okay, well, this is a good... I like these enemies because they're very... They, they make it so easy to farm upgrades. Not upgrades, but pickups. So we're going to do this for a little bit. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's it, actually. Yeah. What I like about Super Metroid is that it does not give you pickups for stuff you already have the maximum of. Which is nice. Ooh, map station. Oh, we're in Ackley's. Oh, he apparently just went, entered, just literally just entered a new area. Cool. Ackley's. You know, not as, not as cool of a name as Technoborg, but you know, what can you do? Sometimes just can't get all the cool stuff. Dude, I love the backgrounds in this hack. They're just so cool looking. Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh. I don't know. I want to go down, though. Oh, this is a tunnel area. Oh, this. Oh, I thought, like, this was a big open. Oh, okay, no, I was wrong. Okay. Also, I was a little confused, I'll be honest, for a second there. I was like, what the heck am I looking at? Ah, shit, we missed our chance. Ugh. It's actually hold, you know, right this time. Huh, what's this? No. I mean, we came all the way down here just for the game to tell us no. That's what happened. You know, I'm, that's it. I'm mad. I'm peeved. I feel betrayed. In fact, I was betrayed. Metroid, Super Metroid Vitality betrayed me. And I'm not happy about that. Can't even, like, speed it up either, because, like, I gotta wait for these things, these lousy things to go. Alright, well, we'll keep this area in mind, I guess. This, this looks suspicious. That's because it is suspicious. Let's not miss. <laughs> Imagine if we miss. That'd be terrible. Um, hmm. Ah, oh, God. Okay, apparently that's a superheated area, apparently. Doesn't really look like it, but, you know. Game is assuring us it is. Alright, well, we didn't ever actually go the correct direction. We just kind of went up, so. Yeah, the way. Let's hope that random rock doesn't appear out of nowhere again. Oh, I get it. Those blocks have to be killed by the thing. Okay. A little bit weird, but sure. I'll take it, I guess. Ooh, this is weird looking. Oh, space pirates. Ha ha! Sequence break. This game thinks it can stop me from breaking it wide open. You know, that's pretty embarrassing. Okay. There we go. Hey. 
Didn't say you could kill me. Alright, well, we're definitely... Probably not supposed to be up here. I, mean, I know it, like, introduced me to The fuck? Alright, well, I have absolutely no idea what the hell that was, but, um... Sure. Alright, that's a safe point, apparently. It's just that... Can't exit that normally. Yeah, also, I have absolutely no idea what that sound was, so, uh, that was cool. Oh, we don't have, uh, super missiles. Huh. So I wish we had more than one. He had no idea what that giant bang was, but, uh, I'm sure it's fine. What's the worst that could happen? Hey. You don't get the hit. How much health do you have? Die. Oh my- oh, How much health do you have, dude? Got half my health because of how annoying he was. All right, yeah, we gotta use these missiles. And he still got a shot off me. Cool. How much this game wasn't stingy with missiles? Like I don't know why, but like, eh, it's a little annoying. Okay, yeah, we're not going up there. That's for sure. Uh, I just need freaking one super missile. Of course, it's so hard to get. Die, you fucker. Right, we're gonna die, that's for sure. Because of how many enemies, like, stupid space pirates take to kill. For some reason. Okay, we just need one super missile. That's all we need. Ugh. This isn't really looking promising at all. Well, this area is kind of useless to us right now. Alright, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to backtrack over to uh, where those that infinite enemy spawn was. Just because that's like an easier thing. Alright, let's wait for the boulder to come. Just so we can get super missiles. That's like the only way we're reliably going to get them. There we go, got one. Might as well heal up too. Takes like a second. Cause you get a hundred energy if you get like if you just get energy. Yeah. Alright. Now time to do the backtrack. Well not backtracking, but time to go ascend the thing again. Die time. If I accidentally use a super missile, that'd be bad. Also, this hack is single-handedly also got me much better at wall jump. Like, I was already good at wall jumps before, but now I'm even better at them. This one's a little bit easier to do, because you don't have to climb a giant tower. Less pressure. So how am I not getting hit by this guy? I feel like I have. Oh my god, I am narrowly missing taking damage from this dude every time. There we go. Yeah, I'm not even going to deal with them. There we go. Ha, ah, you don't even get time to react to me. My presence. Alright, I feel like there's an upgrade down here. It just feels like one of those areas that just seems like it should have an upgrade. Oh. We need a better beam weapon. We need Spazer. I want Spazer so bad. This pea shooter we still have is not exactly doing us much favors. Oh, looks like we're about to get some though. I'm hoping for a beam upgrade, I'll be honest. Um, no. It's a ruse. It's a trick. Meant to deceive us. Um. There's gotta be something else here. You can't just be like, just a troll. Be like, fuck you, you don't get shit. No, I want an item though. This game's betraying me. I'm not, you know, I'm not happy about that. Yeah. Has to be a trick. I said I wanted upgrade, and I'm not. I'm not taking refunds. Oh, you think you can come up here, Mr. Dude? Well, guess what? You die now. You don't get to live. All right. Well, this guy seems like he's having a great, grand old time, so I don't really want to really disturb him or anything. You know. 
All right, is this is this the true upgrade? No, it's just another trick. You know, this game thinks it's so cool, thinking it can just uh, be an asshole to us and not give us what we want. But you know what? No, I'm getting an upgrade. This game, dude. This are you, this is this better not be. Oh my God, it's another trick. Cause I can tell there's no item icon on the map, so like this is straight up just another troll. Dude, what is this game? Why is it deceiving me so much? Alright. 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 <laughs> Alright, um... Don't really know what we're supposed to do here. Now we're in this, like, little corner. But I can't really see a way down, so... Alright, so maybe it's like a hidden wall over here, instead of... I feel like we went through that. No, we did not. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, no, it actually is an upgrade. Super, one whole super missile. Amazing. We really needed to be tricked like 50 times for that. Alright, I was really hoping it would be kind of a new major upgrade, but I guess one super missile is still useful because of how rare they clearly are in this hack. Considering that it took that this takes this much effort to get a, sing, a second one, yeah, they're very stingy with missiles in this hack. It's interesting. It's definitely an interesting difficulty upgrade, but also means that like I kind of wish we got a beam weapon upgrade so that like it wouldn't be as annoying that we have barely any missiles to work with. I don't know. It's just a weird design. It's just an interesting, not a weird, bad design choice by any means, but a weird one, a questionable one in some ways. Ah, dead. Uh, Alright, step on for auto cancel. Just making sure. Alright, well, I don't really know what to do with that super missile. I mean, it's cool, I guess, but like, it's not particularly useful to us right now. So we'll save real quick and uh, hopefully find a major upgrade. Because I mean, as nice as having another super missile is, it's not like that exciting. We'll say I really like the morph. I I, I need to replay super just to see if that was the possible thing. I frankly do not remember. Not that it will really be that useful in many cases, probably. I'm guessing it probably is. It's just like a type of trick that's never really needed. But it's cool. It gives it a lot of the mid on morph ball actually a lot more use since you can kind of use it in a lot of different unique ways. But anyway, let's actually go in. Oh, fuck, I'm going to waste my super missile. But let's actually go into the temple. Maybe this, this is where the upgrade actually is, considering we completely did that entire section probably completely wrong. It takes so long to charge the charge beam in this game, I swear. Alright, well, we killed them. Oh! That actually was one of the few... Okay, cool. That was just another dead end, but it is not. Ah, fuck. You know, no, I'm not finding these enemies. There's no way it's gonna be in this gonna be another locked door. Okay, cool. Alright, let's take these dudes out. Alright, I'm back. Um stuff came up that I had to do real quick, but I'm here. Um in this oh yeah, I forgot we're in the temple area. But um Yeah, ready to get back so yeah, I had to do some stuff real quick, but now I am back in business, ready to give, deliver some truly amazing content here on, you know, the channel to inspire everyone into just, I don't know, something, do something, something cool, maybe, you know, do something interesting, perhaps, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyway, so... Kind of this type of area, but we're not going to go that. We're not going to go to the right. The right's lame. We're going to go down. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, man. I'm just going to drop by real quick. But I see that upgrade there, and I'm guessing this temple kind of loops back around to there. So, you know, any other upgrade around here is not important compared to... What? Whoa. Hey. 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 Door? That That's not cool. Okay? You, you, what? What the hell, man? I thought we had something. You know, I'm the door guy. You know, I thought... I thought we had something. You're just gonna... You're just gonna treat me like that? You know, fine. 
You know, I don't need doors anyway. You know, doors, I hate doors now. I'm a door I'm done with doors. They've betrayed me for the last time. First it was Metroid Prime Hunters, and now it's just one door from Vital. You know, no. Doors, they're too they're evil. You know what? I hate doors. I officially <laughs> That one door has made me rethink some things about my life. It has made me question many a things. And you know what? I just I just don't know if I'll be able to recover from it, you know? It's just that door was that door was messed up and I just I just I just can't handle it anymore. I you know it's just God fucking damn it. God bit Okay, never mind, fuck this guy, okay. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Can this tr fucking charge it any fucking slow? God. I swear, Super Metroid's like, um, charge beam charges so slow. Plus, it's annoying to hit the run button while charging it, so like, no wonder I don't use the charge beam a whole lot in this game, because it's not that useful compared to like other games in the series. Whee! Ooh, nice. Ice beam. Hell yeah. I'll take ice beam any day of the week. Alright, we also, like, completely skipped past a ton of shit, so we probably should explore that first. You know, no, no, no. I think up, um... Oh, yeah, up will just lead us back to that area, so it's, like, a looping area. So, you know, let's check back down here first. Oh, God, not again. You know, I thought... I thought we had something, man. Oh, wait, we can't go that way. Okay, never mind. Because the door has to be an asshole. The world's worst door. You know what? No, I don't hate doors. I just hate that door. That door in particular. I love doors still. I can't believe I said what I said. But that should show you how bad that door is. That it made me even question my love of doors. Because of how bad it was. That is what doors should never be. Manipulative. Backstabbery. You know, like, that's what that door was. That door went against what doors stand for. And I'm not here for it. That door... You know what, why door haters exist because they just think of those doors. You know what? It's not even the door haters' faults. It's the it's those evil doors' faults that you know corrupt people into thinking doors are bad. You know what? I'm not standing for it anymore. I'm done. I'm done with this shit. I am done with these doors ruining the reputation of other doors. And I'm just I, I just can't take it anymore. Okay, I guess we're going down here now. All right, well, I mean, we can't really do it. Ooh. Ooh. Secret. Never mind. It's a broken safe point in an energy station. How awesome. My Truly my favorite two things in Metroid history. All right, well, I don't really know how to get in there, but there's probably like a secret passageway around here. So we're going to we're gonna bomb around, and it's going to open a secret passage for us that... No, maybe, maybe later. Maybe there's. You see, no, no, no. We're gonna go down. It's gonna give us a super power up. Oh, this looks like this is definitely an upgrade location. There's no way. There's no way it's not an upgrade. Yeah, missiles. Yeah, finally. All right. Well, let's head it back out. I guess. Oh, hey, we're back over here now. Also, I just noticed we can totally kill these guys with the Ice Beam. So the Ice Beam isn't, like, insanely overpowered. Oh, okay, that's blocked end. Anyway, but, like, it does a bit more damage. So you can actually damage some other enemies you might not have been able to damage before, which is, you know, appreciated. Um, that being said, though, I have absolutely no idea where the hell I'm supposed to be going right now. So... So we're going to check the map. But let's head back to, like, kind of the main-ish area of this zone, I suppose. And then we'll see what we can do from there. Because frankly, I do not know what we can really do with the ice beam. At least in our current situation. Just I just don't know. Head back up here for something though. Cause I know we saw a bunch of like of those like skeeter dudes, but like we kind of did that entire area without using them, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just misremembering something that was important. Which I probably am. Why not, not go up here? I'm sure there's no reason for it. Oh, no. Because there is nothing up there. Right, this looks suspicious. No power bombs, okay. That puts an end to that. Um. I 
I'm surprised we managed to dodge all those guys. Hmm. We can't really go down there, so I'm gonna try going back on the inside. Okay, see that, like, that ledge area? Maybe that leads to, maybe I need, like, the ice beam for that. Because, yeah, this is actually how you're supposed to get up. But you know what? Honestly, I think this is... I still ironically think this is easier. Okay. Oh my god, it's way easier. Because, like, dude, look how far... Oh my god, look how far they go. Jeez. Yeah, you have way better luck just doing that. You know, I want to see what's in the world. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's uh, that. Okay. Huh. Okay, I'll give credit to this one. This one actually is a little bit more easy to do. Just because, like, it's only one I have to deal with. Oh, God. Die, 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 die. Monster, you don't belong in this war. Okay, um. Alright, now we go down, I'm pretty sure. And that's basically the way to victory and to prospery. Pro yeah, pro. God, what the hell is my English? Anyway. Alright, well, I might as well save again since we're here. I think it's like the third time we saved this episode in this exact save point. But saving is usually a good idea because this hack is a little bit more tricky than your standard Metroid fare. Plus, we still only have two energy tanks. And I feel like we've. Really not made that much progress, but frankly, considering how few missiles we've gotten, I'm guessing they're probably a bit more stingy with energy tanks than you do your typical Metroid game. Alright, well, actually, I don't remember how to get to this other area. Did I even need to go through here? Because frankly, I did not remember. Hey. Not cool. Where's this even leading me to? Nothing important. Oh yeah, it's super missile area. This is this what this area was. And I saved the screenshot. Awesome. <laughs> Happens all the time, because the screenshot button's like the select button. It's like I, a lot of times, accidentally hit it, apparently. And that's, that's, a, it's, um, the button, like, right below it. It's like this weird, like, middle button, and, like, I always hit it by accident without meaning to. So I just have so many random-ass screen sh screenshots saved to my, like, computer for, just because of that. It's kind of funny, though. I'm not really mad about it, it's more just like, because I don't like to take up that much space anyway, so... It's like, I'm like, no, this this controller is the worst thing, and I want a refund because it keeps taking screenshots, and I don't really want it to. Okay, yeah, this is where we're supposed to go. Cool. We didn't get lost for once. Who who would have thought? It's a fur. Oh, my God. Okay, they did not stay frozen for as long as they do normally, I feel. Like, they seem like they're not, they're not staying frozen for a whole lot of time here. Yeah, new area. Let's check it out. Bet's gonna have cool stuff. Oh no 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 no! It's not cool. I lied. It sucks. I hate it. Okay, we're safe. Nothing bad happens. Charge, charge beam just in case. Cause I'm scared. Cause we have like those side hoppers now. Like the they're like the worst side hoppers. As if they couldn't get any worse. They're even now. We can make them worse, because we still don't have... Dude, Space Beam would, like, save our lives right now, since our range would, like, increase tenfold. But no, the hacks all like, you want Spacer Beam? Well, that's too... Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay, at least the Ice Beam's a little bit more powerful, so we can handle enemies better. Slightly. Okay, I do not know where we're going. That's been the theme of this hack, but... This looks mildly promising. Hey, 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 get out of here. Alright, well, there's something below us. This feels like a boss area, you know? This looks way- this is so ominous. I don't trust this area. Like, I literally do not trust this area at all. This is my death scene. We're 100% gonna die here. That is- that's like the most certain fact that there has ever been. Is I'm gonna die here. Let's give me okay. Wait, and then I see what we gotta do. No, I want to go in the little crack area. Ah! Ah! Run away! Okay. Um. Whoa! Hot loser! Loser!
you can't kill me because you are bad at the game. I'm taking it slow because these guys don't really drop a lot of health. Oh, what the heck? It's like a weird, like, watery surface. Like, it's just the, the tip of it. That's cool, though. It's like, uh, you're just skimming a lake. It, that, that, that feels so weird when you run over. It's like oil. Uh, that's weird. Bizarre things are happening, that's for sure. Also, this might actually be an upgrade or something. So, like, this is a very suspicious spot. Not speak again. It's a running theme. It's not, that's the other one. Oh, yeah. No, I was right. There was an upgrade here. Also, I feel like it does not do a good job of telling you where the upgrades are. Like, I mean, not like that, but... Like, doesn't it feel like that it really does not, you know... Oh, that's cool. So it it destroys the environment, too. So I wonder what that activates, too. Because that definitely activates something new. Um, Yeah, I would say so. Uh, we might want to get out of here now. Yeah, this really is like the tower. Also, we're hitting every single enemy, which is not ideal, but... Um, I kind of want to get out of here very quick now because this uh, looks very bad and that we're gonna die like a horrible 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 death Yes, yeah, this feels a lot like am 2 r actually like without the time like is there a time limit because there isn't a time limit that's on screen, but I Feel like if we take too long, it's not gonna end too well for us Gunship network here on oh, establish uplink Um This outside area certainly looks a hell of a lot different, as in it's completely destroyed, and we can see the, the, the surface of the planet. I'm fairly certain that's the surface. Well, there we go. We commit uh, a lot of property damage, which, you know what, is fine. Who needs... These ancient ruins were lousy anyway. They, they only had some massive nukes in there, so you know what? They, they probably deserved it. They should have known it was going to happen. Not my fault. I was not the cause of any of this... Uh, massive destruction. It was like here. It was just like this when I got here. But that was a cool segment. I like that. I like how that the environment actually changes around you. And it has like environmental stuff like that for completing tasks. I think that's a really cool mechanic that I feel like a lot of Metro games don't. I have never seen like, like well, I mean, some Metro games actually do do that. Like uh, Fusion does that a lot. And Dread does that too. So it's cool to kind of see a fan game doing that as well. It's not something I would have expected. So like, yeah. Also, you know, see it's break time. I have mastered the bomb jumps at this point. As you can tell from me immediately failing it, but I am like the So if you guys don't know, I'm actually the kings of bomb jumps. Like, I, there's nobody better than me. Fuck. I almost had it. Let's get the timing right. There we go. I'm just spamming it because I feel like we're not having any luck doing it not that way. Okay, this isn't going anywhere. Yeah, I don't remember how to do bomb jumps in Super. Oh, we don't even need to do... I'm stupid. Okay. We don't even need to do it that way. That's why. All right, well, this area looks suspicious and, like, it definitely has a boss in it. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we're not going there. But Power Bombs is kind of big because there's a lot of doors that have been blocked off in the past from that, so... Okay, even if we did waste our time doing the wall jumps, it wouldn't have mattered because there's just nothing there. Yeah, because there's that bridge we saw earlier, so yeah, we can go down there now. I guess that's what it wants us to do, considering that was like the only major area I can think of. Which means, yeah, fourth time save at the same save point. Hey, and so you could hit me. Hitting me is kind of rude, and I don't really appreciate it, so you're going to like not hit me again. Hey, die. I didn't say you could live. I don't remember the part where I said you could still, you know, be alive. Like, that wasn't really part of the contract here. At least the saving is, like, mega snappy. Like, there's, no, there's no text box saying, like, oh, do you want to save? It's like, yeah, obviously you're here to save, but there's a reason you want to save. 
Like, why does he even do that? It's like, okay, you step into a save point in a save room, and you kind of have to make a lot of effort to do that, and like, like do you want to save? It's like, yes, that's why I'm here. Why else would I be in the save room? And, you know, jump into the save pod if I didn't want to save. Oh, hey, bud. That was an unfortunate landing. Okay, I didn't say you could hit me. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a power bomb area here. You know, let's waste our first power bomb on something that's not going to lead to anything, most likely. No, you don't get the... Mm. Get out of here. Nobody loves you. Okay. Um, we also gotten a lot better at wall jumping, so it's always good. I'm a master at wall jumping, though. Now we do a super jump. Perfect landing. I like the new, like, how they have, like, all the micro explosions, too, for, like, the, the power bombs. That's a cool little detail. <gasps> oh, fuck, this. <laughs> okay, well, sorry for whatever the fuck inhumane noises I just made there, but, uh, that guy does 40 damage per hit. So, yeah, sorry for panicking, like, Oh my, oh, dude, he just fucking, oh my god, dude, he just came from the fucking sky, holy shit. <laughs> okay, we're definitely gonna die here a couple times. Oh my god, dude, this is like, a, this turned to a horror game really fucking quick. Um, yeah, those guys do 40 damage, and I'm like one hit away from death, so that's always fun. Oh, I, oh, <laughs> uh, hey, we're back. Okay, so, um, there was a lot of yelling. I apologize for the loud inhumane noises once again because, um, yeah, it's uh, terrifying when you have an enemy that can, like, almost. <sighs> uh, we just gotta be more prepared. That's all we gotta do. We just gotta be ready for it, and we have more energy this time, so I'm feeling more confident. But, like, oh my god, dude, he just. Those two guys, they keep just, like, coming out of the fucking sky, just ready for us. That's terrifying. Because you're just not expecting it. It's like, okay, you know, I'm gonna take my time. Coming out of fucking nowhere every time. Out of the fucking sky. And give me a heart attack. But you know what? That's fine. You know, I didn't I need I need I didn't need to have a heartbeat anyway, you know, it was fine. Oh, you're not gonna drop energy either. Wow. What an asshole. Don't even have the decency to drop something cool for me. Now you just you just wanna take my energy and leave and not even, you know, give back to the environment? Like that's kinda uncool actually, man, you know. You know, I bet you're, I bet you hate the environment. I bet you want to die. You know what? You gotta be more environmental conscience. Con conscience. Conscious. Be still. <sighs> oh, fuck you, bitch. Okay. A tall is, oh my god. Dude, no, game, please. I'm sorry for the loud noises, but like, oh my god, game, please. Can you like, stop just having them drop from the fucking sky? Like, it's, it's not f cool. In fact, it's quite... Uh, you know, it makes me feel stressed and, you know, worried and, you know, I, I, don't, I don't like the feeling of it, you know? Alright, well, let's actually uh, get some energy, though, real quick. This game is very generous with, like, its enemy, like, er, like respawning areas so you can get your health back. I do like that. Just because there aren't, it's very stingy with save points, so I like that they actually have a counterbalance to it. Also, we cannot go in here yet. And I don't think the plan is to, like, you know, rush through it as fast as possible with the upgrades we have. So, meaning that this entire stupid room... Um... So, it has come to my attention that, uh... The door has locked behind us. And that, um... That's an issue. Ah! <sighs> Oh, well, we're dead. No, it's locked door. Shit. No idea what? if that's like intentionally we're supposed to just like damage boost that area, but I'm gonna assume it's not, considering there's a lot of other areas we can use power bombs. So we'll keep that area on the back of our head for a little bit now. But it's good to know that that entire uh, horror ascent trek was for nothing. I'm really glad about that part. That's nice. How the fuck did we jump in the exact angle where every single one of them was? That's impressive stuff right there.
Okay, there's a power bombs on that bridge, so I'm guessing there's probably something good there. Die. Don't really speed up the killing. There, kill all of them. So we had two power bombs. We only have one, so we gotta be stingy with them. Stop being an asshole. Yeah, I do like the new animation though. For it's kind of neat. Oh man, we're in the sewers. No, oh, not power bomb. Cool. A door. Perhaps leads to a new area for us to adventure in. I guess I have so much health. Not cool. I'm not going for that. Yeah, let's not even bother. He can't. His aim is so limited anyway. Alright. Fuck yeah, dude. Finally, another energy tank. That's what we really needed here. And maybe, you know, we have a little bit more. So if we need to dam, if we do indeed need to damage boost, we can a little bit more effectively. So that's also something to keep in mind. But um, I think there was another power bomb. There's a lot more power bomb doors in the earlier areas we can go to. But for now, um, oh, that just straight up leads us back here. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Why couldn't we do that area before? See that bottom area? I'm trying to remember why I wasn't able to do that before. I'm trying to think. Um, well, it doesn't really hurt to check because we're so close there. Like, we're literally right next to here. So even if it does waste a little bit of time, it's not a big deal. Because I don't know. I feel like it kind of was because we just didn't have um, power bombs. And plus, we can always restock our power bombs and stuff from these dudes, so it's always good. Oh no, it's because we didn't have enough uh, health. That's why. Alright, I feel like, I feel, again, I feel like there was something that we missed here. Well, now it's not going to live anymore. Haha, I didn't do anything. I was like really happy. I was thought like we're going to do cool things, but turns out that's not that's not what happened. We didn't we didn't we didn't do cool things. We did stupid useless things that wasted our time again and again and again. Now I'm unhappy. Yeah, I'm displeased actually. Not just unhappy, I'm displeased. All right, well, you know what? You know what they say when the the crumbles crumble and then the bananas don't crumble. Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. I didn't realize how long this part was. Oh god, no, no, no. All right, I've learned that we're not exactly the most intelligent pe I'm not exactly the most intelligent person out there, considering that we decided that was a good idea. And I also realized that that the liquid we were falling in was actually like lava. Meaning it was draining our health even quicker than normal. Plus, we are also hitting a bunch of enemies. So, everything we did back there was really bad. But, we got the energy tank back. I do not know what else to do. This video has been very short. But, I feel like <laughs> it's been pretty awful. And, how how bad we've been doing. So, we're just going to leave this area. I think we've done all we can for now. And, there's a lot more power bomb doors in the other area that we can use now. So, let's head back to Technoborg. And go from there. Also, we can use a save point here, which is always good. Wait, we don't need to kill these guys anymore. We can just do this. Yeah, because killing you takes like 80 years, and I hate it. Uh, this area looks promising. I forgot. Oh yeah, we can go over here now. Cool. 
Oh, cool. It gave the. We didn't have Powerbomb yet. Let's go this way first. To the left. This feels like an up. Ooh. Interesting. We're just gonna press up. Woo. It's like a quick transport tunnel, is what it kind of looks like. My god, this really just goes over the entire map, huh? It's like quick travel, I think. That's what it's kind of going for, is my guess. Cool. I mean, that's a okay. That's cool. A little bit of fast travel. So in case you don't want to, you know, go through the entire top half again, you can just kind of go through the tube. All right, good that we know about that now. Anyway, we're gonna take the trek all the way back. It's not a, exactly a fast trek. You just can look at the pretty background with the water. It's impressive, just with 2D sprites. It, the game has a very impressive way of making the backgrounds feel very far off. It has like it's like dread. It, it manages to make the backgrounds feel far off and like very far off, and shows how vast the planet is from a t with just 2D sprites, which I think is probably the most impressive part of this hack. Is just how well they're able to convey how massive these caverns are with like honestly limited options. It's, it's just really cool to see. Just that sprite work is awesome. I love sprite. Honestly, I think sprite-based games are better than 3D ones. I think I, I mean, I like 2D games more than 3D generally. 2D games are just where I feel most most at home, especially with Metroidvanias. Like, I love Metroid Prime, but dude, 2D Metroid will always be on top for me. There's just something special about like 2D Metroid games that just hit different. Also, another upgrade. Okay, you know, as little, I feel like as terrible of we that number of deaths we had we've actually made a lot of progress especially compared to episode two where i felt like we got nothing done so you know what it's like rogue dawn all over again second episode's basically useless and the third episode's where things happen so maybe episode four is when i absolutely fall in love with the game so if we're going to keep up that trend but hopefully it doesn't end off i hate that game at the end so it depends also can we please get out of here there we go okay i don't really know what high jump boots would even be good for at this point in the game Aside from just being more of a quality of life type thing. Do you remember the, over in that other area, those, those weren't power bombs, it was just straight up, you were blocked off. Um, so I think I'm just gonna take the normal Metroid approach of assuming it's gonna be built normally. So I'm gonna just gonna head back over to the area we went to. I don't even know what we can really explore, but holy shit, this high jump is really nice, and I just... What the fuck am I doing? Okay. What we really need is fucking Varia suit, because we've just not gone and... I mean, the energy tank's nice and all, but, like, we've not gotten a defense boost in a while. Plus, we kind of need it for a lot of those areas that damage us, so... But, yeah, this... Dude, this high jump is so nice. I've never been so grateful for the high jump before. Aside from f zero mission. Zero mission's normal jump height is like abysmally bad. I don't know why it's so low. Cause like Zero Mission's jump height, like standard jump height, just feels so like it just doesn't feel good. Cause it feels like it should go so much higher, but it just doesn't. Alright, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna make this episode actually let me check uh video okay, so it's about 40 minutes right now, plus I'm gonna cut out a lot of shit, so not a lot of crap, but just some stuff. So I'll go on for like a few more minutes and then call it quits for this episode. I think it was pretty successful overall. Got three major upgrades and you know if you think about it, it's kinda of like a lot of Samus's upgrades at this point. Kind of. Not really. There's actually a lot more. I'm not sure if there are any new upgrades there might be. I have no idea though. Hmm. 
We'll try braving the lava area again. That's really the only thing we can do. Although I do remember one thing. That for some reason I didn't check before. Probably doesn't lead to anything, but maybe it does. Because I'm not sure how much our jump height's affected underwater with high jump boots compared to normal. So let's check it out. Oh, never mind. You can't go down there. For some reason I thought you could. I feel like I remember. I think I was just misremembering wrong. Alright, let's head out of here. I wonder if spring balls in this, because it's kind of not useful. Spring ball has always been a quality of life upgrade, so like... Honestly, it wouldn't make that much sense if it was even here. You can really feel the jump height here. What crap. Doesn't really improve our wall jump at all, but you know what? We'll make this jump more fun, though. Whee! Oh my god, we actually almost hit our head. All right, why not? These guys aren't gonna scare me this time. We're gonna we're gonna beast mode through this area now. And if not, we're well. That's where we're gonna stop for this episode. Ha! Ah, we have more energy now. You can't stop us, and our jump height's better. We don't even need to deal with you losers. You can't catch up to me. I'm already a million steps ahead. You can't stop me. Only I can stop myself. I feel like we're actually hinder- Oh my god, what the hell is that? We're just hindering ourselves, actually, is what we're doing right now. No? Go away. I don't like you. You suck. I hate you. Hey. Whoa, what the fuck was that momentum I just got from that? It's got like a launched across the room. Alright, well it's probably gonna not lead to anything interesting and we're probably gonna die again, but you know what, that's fine. Because I know, in my heart, that this is the correct area. And that we can survive. We have slightly more time than before. We just gotta not fuck up. And we have high jump, which means we can jump higher. Which means that there is no way we can lose. This is it. This is the one. I can feel it. Wait, I have an idea. Come on. Aha! I think this is intentional. These guys ever would hurry- Oh my god, hurry up, please. See how we're kind of like gaining a little bit? These guys spawn, re spawn quick enough and give so much energy off that I think, yeah, this is how you're actually meant to do this area. I think this is intentional. I do think you're actually meant to damage boost kind of through this area. Oh my god, yeah, that was intentional. You were Okay, cool. That's cool. Actually, a cool idea where you have to, like, use the environment enemies to kind of heal yourself. That's a very cool concept. I like that. I really do like that a lot. I think this is actually how we get Varya suit. I think we are. It's like Other M. You're supposed to damage boost first. Then Adam will authorize you to use the upgrade that you kind of needed from the beginning. I still find that hilarious. Like, Samus, you should use your Varius. Like, Samus was literally content just burning alive. Like, literally starting to, like, burn alive. Like, no. Okay, Sam. No, Sam. You just fucking use the Varya suit. Who cares what Adam says? Because what he is is a dumbass considering he's just going to let you die. Like, what if he just forgot to tell you completely? It's like, oh yeah, um, no, no, no. Like, okay, even if he gets mad, he's like, How dare you use the Varya suit to save your life? That's you, that's against my orders. You're supposed to die here. <laughs> she just gives another reason why you shouldn't uh, blindly trust him. You're a bounty hunter for sake. I don't know, I don't even hate Other M that much. Honestly, I think it's a fun game. It's just like, shit like that. The story's just not good. Uh, please don't tell me I have to actually kill every enemy in here. This is a big fucking room. A 
think we might have to, so... These altars look weird. I don't like them. Make me feel uncomfortable. It's just like a Zero Mission where I gave an audio cue if you, like, killed all the enemies in the room. As it stands right now, I really don't know. I think we killed most. I think we killed them all. Nope, we didn't. I think that might be the last one, though. We'll check, though. Yeah, I think that's the last one. Alright, hopefully that was right. Hopefully for once it was actually you gotta kill all the enemies in the room. Yeah, cool. Don't want to be stuck again somehow. Oh, cool little, like, door area. Alright, I think it's gonna be Varia Suit, and I think after we get, uh, most likely what is going to be Varia Suit, let's be honest. And uh, that's where we're gonna end off the episode, because I actually have a decent idea of where to go now. I'm impressed, we made a lot of progress this episode. Definitely redeemed ourselves after episode 2, which I feel like I didn't get a whole lot done. Alright. But we finally got some decent upgrades, we're gonna get better protection. Which is always good to see. Let's not fuck up our aim. We. And I feel like next episode we're probably gonna be very close to fighting a boss, is my assumption. Yeah, Varsu, let's go. No more heat damage. Why is it blowing up again? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. No. 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 Alright, for some reason, it's not really hindering our movement, though, which is weird. Well, I was very worried that we are just about to die there and have to redo that entire section. But you know what? No, we're, we're too good at video games to worry about. Such useless, pointless things. Oh, hey, buddy. Um, Haha, -ha, you only do 20 damage to me now, bitch. I'm unstoppable. Your once threatening attacks are mere, mere, mere taps to me now. I don't even feel your power. Fear me, pathetic creatures. You are nothing compared to me now. You will never be anything more than weaklings. Witness as my power grows. And yours just seems to falter ever so more. Alright, I'm done with my weird Shakespearean dialogue thing. Um, Alright, there's like a way. There's a quick... Oh, oh, okay, that's the evil liquid. We don't... I think it makes sense. We're in a superheated area. I'm, I should be expecting there to be superheated liquid. That seems kind of like a natural progression of stuff. Alright. Um, I don't know if there's like a like a secret we can bypass or something. I don't think there is. I think it's just kind of like, oh, you think you can leave? But you can't. Because you suck. You're bad. I think get good is honestly a really funny insult. I don't know. I just think it's funny. It's like, oh, uh, see, the key to winning is you just get good at the video game. Like, it's a very, like, jackass type thing to say, but I kind of liked it because of that. But anyway, we're going to save at the same save point we've been saving at for, like, the last eight years. Because I'm pretty sure we have to loop back around to that other lava area I was in. Like, not in before, but I saw before. And then, yeah, we'll be able to continue on our little adventure here. Haha, <laughs> your 20 damage is pathetic. You were once a fearsome enemy, and now you're nothing. You'll never be anything again. Ha! <sighs> you still do a lot of damage. Um, <laughs> you still do a lot of damage, actually. Never mind. Why do I keep going to Morphball by accident? Why are we fucking up this wall jump all of a sudden? We've done it like a million times. I don't get why I keep going. I keep. It's like a million time I've accidentally gone to Morphball form somehow. Oh, it keeps happening. Hey. I'm doing it the cool way, even though it's less useful now. take forever to die, I swear. Alright, well there we go. We have done it. We have gotten a ton of awesome upgrades. 
and we actually have a good idea of where we're going next time for once, because I feel like every time we're just kind of starting off lost. But I think we have a good direct route. I think we've gone past the, like, tricky part of the game. Like, the beginning part of a Metroid game is always the most confusing, just because, like, you don't really have that many upgrades, so traveling around is annoying, there's so many enemies, and, like... But now I think we've finally hit that, like, the point where we're more powerful and that we won't see as many roadblocks as usual. So I'm pretty excited to keep on and going. So I'll see you guys in the next one.